Uh, guys, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Willow is a big deal in my life. I am a child of the 80s, and this mm, was a big deal when I was a, a kid. So yeah. I'm glad that you guys have been able to That was so serious. The, I'm feeling a little nervous now. Yes. I hope you're enjoying it, what you've seen so far. Yeah. Can we get the glass back? You <laughs> ruined my childhood. Um, <laughs> uh, it, is, it is great fun, and it's, it's such a balancing act between bringing the old stuff back and bringing it into yeah. the new. When you guys read the scripts for the first time, was this your entry point? Into it, had you seen the sh had you seen the film previously when you were you were younger, or was this the the start for you? It was my entry point. Yeah, I was born when it came out. I didn't see it till I was about seven or eight, but that was my childhood as well. So for me, there was this like desire to be part of it because I grew up with it, and it was a joy, but also pressure because. Because people like I you. could have ruined my own childhood. Yeah. You could have ruined my own childhood. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I ruined my childhood. Yeah, yeah, but it's it, yeah, it's a dream come true. We we had the. I was saying before, it was quite nice to have the script. That was my first mm. kind of experience, but then to be able to watch the movie, mm -hmm. and I don't have to imagine what the world is like, I can just see it. Yeah. The world that we're entering is just right there. And a great yeah, blueprint to help us build more of that world, and, and yeah. you know, it's like, a, it's like a Bible for us to take from. Yeah. yeah. It always felt like a great thing to do it with the invention of obviously Disney Plus now, in the sense that Warwick was saying about how it can be a long form, you know, with a film, you could do a sequel quite easily, but then, mm you're bound by a movie two hours and trying yeah. to do justice to the sequel. Whereas with this, it, you can expand the world and everything else. It's eight mini movies. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. must have been great to go to work every day because you get yeah. a long form of your characters and you get to spend oh, a bit God, more time yeah, with them. Oh God, yeah, it's a joy to have those arcs. And also, because this is a quest show, we all keep moving and it just keeps growing and getting bigger and stranger and weirder. It's, it's stunning, love it. What uh, what drew you to your characters, not to give any spoilers, I'm trying to be very spoiler light because there's <laughs> lots to, especially for if I was, I'm, me as a fan, I wouldn't yeah. want to know a lot of the plot points. But what was it about your characters that kind of intrigued you in the in the first instance? He, Borman is kind of the archetype, tall guy with a sword hero that everyone loves. You know, Han Solo, Jack uh, Jack Sparrow kind of esque character, and it's they're kind of fragile archetypes to play with now because they have been updated and developed and changed. We don't need those as much. So I was really excited about being one of the first South Asian men to be able to do that because we never get to be cool or fun or have cool fights. But what really is great about him is he's flawed and he's an extension and an evolution of that archetype to show that that's just not one-sided, it's not you know two-dimensional. So I, I got to like tick all these boxes at once. I got to be cool and fun, have a sword and make silly jokes. And then I also could get to be flawed and fragile and present that those changes happen to everybody. Um, and I get to do it in a fantasy world. It was it's kind of a complete, yeah, yeah. thing. It's, it's For really... you, a bit different than a super soldier, shall we say, that you, you did previously. <laughs> She's still a super soldier. <laughs> I'm You're still, still a super, super soldier. soldier. You're still a super soldier. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was. It's a. It's a very. I feel very similar mm. um, to what you just described. Um, I think the show has so many strong women in it, and it's not a show that's trying to be like woke or whatever, or like trying hard to be like, oh, we've got we've got strong women here. Come on, let's mm. push them to the front. It's we're just being. We're just we're just yeah. here, and there's no spotlight on it. We just exist, and and like we do in this world too. Um, and it's translated really well into the show, I think. Um, yeah, as soon as I had that character breakdown, I was like, absolutely, I want to, I want to play this part. Yeah. Well, you see, so I mean, Saoirse in the in the first film was kind of a trendsetter in that way. Yeah. Absolutely. In the 80s, yeah. it was all Schwarzeneggers and Stallones yeah. and everything else, and then the Saoirse what's, character was also such a big deal. Also, what's great about that is Joanne, she's so feminine with it too. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's like it's she, I, she doesn't lose her femininity sometimes mm -hmm. when people try and make these badass women it's like they have to they then start emanating emanate yeah <laughs> emanating men and it's not that we can still be feminine. emulating emulating yeah emulating no. <laughs> i don't know i think it's school we love the technology here <laughs> <laughs> no you're totally right you're totally right um and she she her femininity remains and i yeah. think that's so beautiful yeah. yeah it seems like the perfect time to do this as well because fantasy is a big deal and obviously lord of the rings and there's yeah. more tv shows game of thrones but also with things like Top Gun coming out, yeah. there's this real kind of legacy. You must yeah. be excited because old audiences are going to enjoy it, but new audiences seem to embrace yeah. the history of I know, things so. from the past. I mean, I, we were just saying that like my favorite thing about the Christmas period is, is wrapping yourself up in a duvet and eating Maltesers on the sofa and just watching endless hours of escapist TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is what this is. This is giving this back to the world. It's like, you know, there haven't been many fun, adventurous shows in a long time that you can really get lost in. And then when it's finished, you'll be like, cup of tea? You're not crying for an hour afterwards. Or like, oh, that's so sad. It's, you know, it's just earnest and joy, you know, joyous. And that's really 
a nice thing to bring back, that nostalgia. You, you get a nice tick from me okay. for, your, for your show, so well done. Oh, thank, thank you, you so need. much. That's all you need. Oh my God, I can sleep now, thank yeah, no, God. You can sleep easy. Praise God. You can sleep easy. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!